All right, hopefully this is working right now. All right. So I want to tell y'all a quick little story that happened to me a long time ago, back when I was in my late pre-teens to early teenager years, okay? Now, fun fact about me is I've never been the type of person to believe in the supernatural ghosties, ghoulies, long-legged beasties. That whole shit has never, ever phased me. I think it's an interesting concept, but I grew up in the backwoods. So, <laughs> the backwoods and a lot of terrible trailer parks with a lot of meth heads and other drug addicts around. So, I'll, I've learned to fear the people living next door to me more so than I fear the things that don't exist under my bed. Anywho, <clears throat> so since this is a new podcast a new thing i'm starting up i wanted to share with y'all one of the memories that will forever be burned into my brain meat and will never ever leave no matter what i try to do so here's the setup it was early to mid-october and where i live it is muggy it is wet and it is freaking cold and i mean it is so goddamn cold that you will freaking freeze to death if you are not careful or well layered and ventilated mm. we do not get snow where i live we get frozen rain sleet hail or icy mist and that kind of crap you will be a soaking sponge about 30 minutes of being outside, no exceptions, <clears throat> on a good day. So here we are, all the trailer park kids are standing at the end of the park waiting for the school bus to come pick us up. We're all bundled up, trying to stay warm, trying to stay dry, waiting on the goddamn school bus that is running late, as per usual. No surprise there, right? Anywho... Somebody had pointed out that there's some dude standing in the tree line. We all look over and we see this dude, probably about six foot plus, anywhere from three to five hundred pounds, completely buck naked. And I mean completely buck ass naked, his birthday suit on full display, his uh, dong has suffered some massive shrinkage. And his eyes are about the size of silver dollars because he is strung out on something, man. I don't know what the heck it was. Well, all while holding a steak knife in front of a bunch of 14 to 18 year old kids. Just staring around and just every so often. Get, get, ah! Shit like that, you know. <laughs> God. I laugh now, but it was one of the more concerning moments of my early uh, early life. Anywho. Mm. So one of the kids had gotten onto their flip phone and called up the police department. While the rest of us is just watching this dude, making sure he doesn't do anything. <clears throat> outside of just staring at the invisible butterflies in the trees, I guess. About 15, 20 minutes later, these two sheriff ladies show up. And they're probably 190 pounds soaking wet between the two of them. The driver just kind of looks at the dude rolls her eyes, and then immediately opens up the back passenger side door. The second lady opens up the glove box and pulls out a Snickers bar. She goes over and starts waving it around in front of the dude's face, and he starts trying to grab it. He drops the freaking steak knife, thank God, trying to get the freaking Snickers bar from the lady. She walks him about 8 
12 feet to the back of the squad car and then just yeets that candy bar into the back <coughs> into the back of the car squad car <coughs> oh god can't talk can't breathe anywho the moment this dude yeets in there full force just yeet pulls himself up starts nomming down that snickers bar the other lady just rolls her eyes and slams the freaking side door they come over, start questioning us. What do we see? What do he do? Blah, blah, blah. We told them what we saw, what was going on. It was one of the locals in the trailer park. About, I want to say another 20, maybe 25 minutes later, the school bus starts coming down the road. So the sheriff ladies bid us adieu. Uh, give us a smile and a wave. Load up in the squad car and they drive this crackhead off to the county jail. Where he is to this day, I have no idea. But I did see him a couple couple weeks, maybe a month later, back in the trailer park. We will circle back to what he was doing the next time I saw him in a different story. But he got out. Where he is to this day, I have absolutely no fucking clue. I don't want to fucking know where he's at. <laughs> I can go the rest of my life without ever seeing that dude's naked ass again, and I'll be all the happier for it. Anywho, this is just something new I wanted to give <clears throat> give a try. I hope y'all enjoy it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below all the YouTube stuff for me. It really does help my channel grow. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful day.